It has been the constant endeavor of security forces that misguided youth be brought back to the mainstream and be prevented from joining militancy. In one such endeavor, four newly recruited youth have been brought back and are being reunited with their families today. They were recruited in the last few days and were being prepared for terrorist activities. Influenced by the false narrative and the rhetoric created by the anti-national elements, these four youth aged between 17 and 21 years were lured with money and warlike stores. After we learnt about their recruitment, we launched synergized and concerted efforts to apprehend them. They are young boys we decided to exercise due caution. On receipt of an intelligence input about their presence in a village close to the line of control, the plans and the plans of their handlers to send them towards line of control, we launched multiple joint teams and blocked all the exit routes. All teams were instructed to exercise absolute restraint so as to apprehend them without causing any harm. These boys were sent by a 55-year-old man from this village towards a location close to the LC fence where another guide was to receive them and help them in crossing the LC fence. Before these boys could reach the LC fence, our team intercepted them and apprehended them. They were found to be exhausted and dehydrated. Our teams gave them food and water and brought them back from the verge of disaster. They have admitted that they were misguided and promised money if they joined terrorist Tanzines. We are on the lookout for the two men who had influenced them and misguided them for their ulterior motives. I would like to caution the youth of Kashmir that they must understand the nefarious designs of such people who can sell them for a few thousand rupees. We are sending these youth back to their families and all of them have assured us that they would study hard, work towards a brighter future and look after their families. I would once again like to advise the youth to shun the path of violence and work towards achieving peace and development in Kashmir.